Finally, you people are realizing Kaguya-sama is one of the greatest anime of all time. But let me ask you one question. Where did you come from? Almost everyone who is acting like Kaguya-sama Season 3 is incredible is a freeloading loser. Where is your $200 Kaguya-sama Aniplex figure? Or a Season 1 and 2 Blu-rays? To ensure that the production quality of Season 3 is out of this world. The only reason it is as good as it is is because of real fans like me showing their support. Don't pretend you are some serious fan if you have not supported the series one bit. But anyways, with that out of the way, the depth of this series is on another level. I have seen the show seven times and I still notice something new every time. Kaguya-sama has literally brought me to tears well over a hundred times. The amount of foreshadowing is insane, even for an event occurring a hundred manga chapters later. The animation is incredible. The music is spectacular. The voice acting is phenomenal. The directing is remarkable. And the story is miraculous. Kaguya-sama outright sets the gold standard for how good an anime can be. The story begins pretty simply. We have two high schoolers who like each other but are too prideful to confess their love first. But as more characters are introduced and each character is developed, you realize that the series is far more than a simple romantic comedy. Kaguya-sama is one of the only series I have read or watched with seemingly limitless depth to the plot. With most series, if you ask enough questions, you will eventually reach an impenetrable story-breaking wall. Kaguya-sama is one of those ultra-rare series with an answer at every corner. Kaguya-sama Season 3 is out of this world, including Episode 11. The president declares he's going to perform an action like a man and we already know what that means. The animation with his hand reaching out to her is incredible, as well as the music. Shinomiya. A phantom thief steals heart-shaped balloons all around Shuchin Academy. Chika Fujiwara takes this as a challenge to her. This is probably a reference to Persona 5's calling cards, but Arsene Lupin is also a fictional character from 1905. Look at how happy and overjoyed Fujiwara is. Literally, how much better could you represent a board game enthusiast? The music for this scene was also timed so perfectly. Man, the one hour season finale coming up next week will certainly be the greatest episode in anime history. As usual, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with your friends.